Hey guys, it's Sunday night and we've just got into Montreal and we've just checked into our new Airbnb which is like one of the nicest apartments we've been in ever. Let's give you guys the tour. So you come in and then there is a like a wardrobe and they've provided us with basically everything we need. And then you go to the right and it's the bathroom. Flick on the lights. You know, normal bathroom, it's nice and modern. And you come round and here's the apartment. Bonjour. Yes, bonjour. But firstly we backtrack and go into this door and wash our dryer. Yep. Then we come into the kitchen. Nice modern kitchen with an island. And a dining table and so over here is like a cute little fridge and they gave us our host gave us this cider and mandarin aperitif apparently it's from Quebec right yeah and then freezer down here what was this oh cupboard pantry, pantry. oven and then show them the cute little dishwasher. It's perfect size for two people. Microwave, bin, cupboards and stuff. Keith. And then the bedroom's over here. Bedroom, wardrobe in the back. And you can like close these doors so that it like slides closed and everything. And then the little desk area. It's cool because this thing pulls goes in. So if you want more space or if you want more desk room, you can pull it out. And then there's a little balcony out there, which maybe we'll show another time. But this is the view. It's a little bit chilly out there. It's very reflective right now. If we do this, <laughs> it's the view of Montreal. Get an intro to the rush to get to our seats. And here we are at the Bell Centre. See the Montreal Canadiens versus the Boston Bruins. We're going to have to come out of this. Uh, it's really loud right now because the team's about to come out. And yeah, really excited for this game.
out the hot dogs of this game and it looks so different. Hold it up. So I want to show no, like grab one out. Ah. Oh yeah, they do. I can't grab it. It's hot. Well anyway, it <laughs> looks like some weird toasted bun hot dog. Is this the Montreal style hot dog? I think so. Kind of a style of hot dog. And we got Lay's. Came in a combo. Couldn't say no. washing machine is not too loud it's bad timing I know but we are or not we me I am making some like side dishes for us for the next week or so it's called panchan in Korean and I don't know I just thought I would like vlog while I was doing this because Keith just ran out to the shop to get some last minute things that we need and yeah I'm bored by myself so I don't know I just thought I would vlog so if I've made this thing the like perilla leaves and they're stewing in the sauce. I was gonna say we started watching this show on Netflix called Black and it's it's like a Korean drama and it's not like the world's greatest show or anything and it's kind of corny and tacky like every other Korean drama out there but it's so addictive and we've just been like binge watching it the last few days. I started watching it like three days ago and it's it's just so addictive and after every episode we're just like seeing there going what just happened? what? <laughs> it's basically like about this girl who can see shadows of people who are about to die and how they're gonna die and so she's trying to stop them from dying and uh, it's like this detective comes along and he's helping her out and the storyline changes like crazy all of a sudden and uh, it's not really what we were expecting based on the first episode but yeah, after the, the like, there was a big cliffhanger at the end of the first episode, and we we're like, yeah, we gotta keep watching this. And just, yeah, so we've been doing that. And I would recommend it if you're looking for just kind of like a casual show. I'm gonna tell my mom to watch it because I think she'd like it. This is the state of the kitchen right now. It's kind of a mess. And uh, we, yesterday, we fully unpacked everything, so now the place is all empty. I gotta close the blinds soon. But this spot here was just covered in all of our stuff but now it's all empty and yay here are my potatoes cooking away Should I put the heat up a bit yeah another annoying thing about this kitchen is there's no real pan this is kind of the closest thing we've got but it's not really a pan i think it's like a shallow pot more than anything else and everything sticks to the bottom of it so Kind of annoying and also there's no real knife here so chopping these was extremely annoying i had to use a steak knife <laughs> that was like the best thing we had and i don't know it's gonna have to do for the next three months because that's how long we're staying here but other than that this place is great and all done now here's our fun dinner so this is the finished potatoes this is the perilla leaf thing, getting it. Uh, some eggplant, the black beans that we got, the bean sprouts, some pickles, kimchi, and this is the uh, spicy pork, cheok pokum, that Keith made. I think in English that said, please ignore the alarm. That freaked me out. You did hear English saying, please ignore the alarm, right? Yeah. Okay. So that was one way to start the morning. We were sitting there on the couch, just like right after breakfast and the alarm started going off and flashing and I didn't know what was going on because I don't know what alarm that is because it's not the smoke alarm and it's still flashing. I hope that turns off. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't know what it was, so I went to go leave and then I heard an announcement in French and I was like, what the hell is going on? And there was a brief announcement in English that I think it said, please ignore the alarm. So I hope it says, please ignore the alarm, but 
Anyway, that's a side to our Thursday morning. I didn't hear what that said. It's really muffled. It's still flashing. It's been like five minutes and it's still flashing. Well, I have the camera out and this light's still flashing. I may as well show outside. It must have snowed overnight. It's not snowing now. I think it's lightly snowing, maybe. It's so hard to tell from up here. But it's kind of cool to see the city just covered in a light covering of snow. I think it's meant to snow more next week. Doing the thing again. It's Friday now. <laughs> What's happening? It's the second day straight of this. Last time it's a false alarm. Last time it spoke to us. We're trying to head out to the shop, but it looks like the elevators are all down. It's crazy. It's been actually like a fire in the building and we're just like pretending that like nothing's happening. Yeah. <laughs> just casually. It's this way. Um, we're up 18 floors. I haven't announced anything though. Yeah, floors. No. It's incredibly cold out here, but at least we are finally getting some snow with the cold weather. I think it's actually been colder recently, but there's been no snow. I'll put up with the cold if it's snowing like this all the time. It's quite pretty out here. Last night we went to the Habs game, and I got myself a Carey Price shirt. Yay. And then on the front, it's like, it's like this. I like how instead of saying, NHL, it says LNH, which is for the French, obviously. <laughs>